Welcome to my first video about Caffeine AI. So I got my alpha code about a week ago and during this week I think I spent over 100 hours playing around with Caffeine. I have to say the application is simply amazing. It can build really nice front ends and it also does a pretty good job at creating functionality for, for that front end. So you can pretty much build an application from start to finish, although in its current state at some point it begins to struggle, right? So keep in mind Caffeine is an early alpha, only a few tens of people manage to get a code and that means that it's a work in progress. So if you manage to get a code, don't expect it to be able to create a full fledged application with a lot of features and really complex that you can monetize right away. Okay. Now keep in mind that I'm also not an expert in caffeine AI. So I've been only playing with it for a week, like I said, and there is a pretty steep learning curve when it comes to it. Okay. If you are a Motoku developer or someone who at least understands a few programming languages, the whole process is going to be easier for you for me at least it's a pretty steep learning curve but with every day that passes i feel that i learn even more about caffeine right so yeah in this video i'm going to try to build a very simple application it's going to be a simple quiz builder that allows users to create and publish their own quizzes first of all i wrote some notes down in a document think of it like the outline of the application that i'm trying to build and then i'm going to feed these notes into google gemini and ask gemini I to create the prompts that I'm going to feed to caffeine and I think this workflow should work pretty well for a couple of reasons first of all I don't have the mindset of a developer the second reason is that I'm not a native English speaker so I might struggle with describing a functionality in the best way possible for caffeine to understand the first few applications that I tried to build I used only caffeine without any other AI it worked pretty well but then I started a new project with caffeine and I tried this method with Google Gemini and it actually Actually worked a bit better anyway so let's get to it so the application as I said it's quizic it's going to be a quiz builder for people to create quizzes and then allow other people to play their quizzes and earn points and compete in the leaderboard this is what I wrote down in the notes now if you want to pause the video feel free to do so now let's see so I created a new chat in Gemini I started with the following prompt you are a prompt engineer working with caffeine AI a tool developed by the Definity foundation which allows users to create applications using prompts in the English language your job is to take the information I input and turn it into descriptive and well-structured prompts. Do not suggest caffeine how to do something, simply turn my inputs into well-crafted prompts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this whole thing and let's see what Gemini actually does. So this is a pretty good response from Gemini. I'm going to copy the whole thing, simply paste it into caffeine and see what it does. It looks like it started right away. Sometimes if you paste a huge prompt into caffeine like this it will say something like uh yeah that's a cool concept but don't you want to try break it down into sections first but it appears that this prompt probably because it was created by gemini and is really well structured it works better so as you can see it started creating the code we have a few files here and a lot more files will pop up as it builds this spec md it's like a glossary for caffeine main.mo is the main backend so as you can see a lot of new files files are being created as we speak. Sometimes caffeine writes the code really quickly. I think it's based on how many people are actually using the, the application at the same time, right? So it appears that caffeine finished writing the code and is now deploying to the network. Whenever you build the application is going to be, as you can see here in draft mode. If let's say you reach a point that you, cause you think your application is ready and you want to make it public so other people can use it indefinitely, you can go to actions and publish this draft live for real usage. Uh, let's hide the chat for a second and let's see what we have. We have home, we have a leaderboard that doesn't work, page description here, and we have to log in with internet identity. So I'm just going to do that. So we need to enter a username. I'm going to go obviously with base giant. Then we can add uh, an image if we want, Twitter handle. Okay, let's add this too. And an ICP address again, optional. I added the ICP address here because I want to have a feature. So for example, you like a quiz created by someone and you want to donate some ICP to that person. When you click the donate button, you will see their ICP address and you can send ICP to that address from wherever you want, from the NNS, from Binance, from Coinbase, from whatever wallet you might use. So let's complete the setup. And there we have it. Discover amazing quizzes, challenge yourself, blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay. 
Okay, so we have a sorter, we can sort by name, date and upvotes, exactly what I asked in, in the prompt. Uh, we have some points counter here. Let's see, profile. If I click this, I'm going to be redirected to my Twitter profile. Apparently, if after you log in, you can, you can actually see the leaderboard. I am the champion with zero points. Okay, admin panel. So let's see if we can actually create a quiz. Enter quiz name. Let's do a quiz ICP history. If you want to add images to your caffeine project, you need to use this tool called Uplink because currently you cannot add images manually to your caffeine project. Why is that? Probably because they want to keep uh, resource usage at a minimum. Yeah, so just simply use Uplink. You just log in. By the way, this is the new internet identity. So it's not the one you use to log in DNNS. This is going to, this is the second version, which will probably be deployed soon. So I'm just going to copy this image and I'm just going to paste it here. How many questions per session? Let's keep it at five questions per session right now. Okay. No, actually let's do six. Let's see if it works. Uh, random question in order sure question one who is the founder of Definity? dominic williams george washington okay so i created all 11 questions so now let's see if it works okay let's see if it creates the quiz okay hopefully it was created if we go to the home page okay so the quiz is actually created before playing the quiz let's see if we can also see the quiz in the admin panel as you can see it's listed here we can delete it we can verify it Let's see if this works. As you can see, it's a verified quiz. Let's see if we can play the quiz. So one of six questions, what does ICP stand for? Internet Computer Protocol. What is the ICP logo? Infinity Sign Circle Barrel Moon. So obviously it's an infinity sign, but let's see if we get the wrong answer if we select barrel, for example. Submit. Okay, perfect one score. Now, one issue that I notice here is while the questions are randomized, every time you play the game, the answers are not. So the first answer is always the correct one, right? So this is something that we need to change. Finish quiz, 80, 83%. So as you can see, Caffeine also adds other features that make the application better, right? So in the prompt, I never asked Caffeine to add this percentage for every quiz, but it did it by default, right? So as you can see, we completed the quiz. We managed to get one point. The point is displayed here. If we check the leaderboard, Base Giant is the champion, one point, and that's it. Okay, let's try to do a very simple change. I'm going to submit a simple prompt. Let's have the answers for every quiz randomized when playing it. One thing that I noticed, sometimes Caffeine might struggle with, especially if you um, if you ask it to edit the backend and it might create unrequested stuff in your front end, right? So you might see some text that was never there. In that case, if it's a huge problem, you can always go back to a previous version and you can ask Caffeine to revert everything to that version. So now let's see. Let's hide the chat and play the quiz. What does ICP stand for? Internet Computer Protocol. Okay, so actually this, this actually worked. So it's now randomizing the order of questions. I think everything works as planned. I really didn't expect to, to do this in two prompts, but I think it works as expected. Obviously, some of the functionality, it's not yet implemented. For example, this, I don't think we can do this for now. But yeah, there we have it. Two prompts, fully working application, leaderboards, everyone can create a quiz, profile, you can edit, you can add images, you can do everything you want. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you would like me to create more videos about caffeine, maybe building different applications, maybe if you have specific questions that you would like me to answer, I will do so. I will create more videos if this video does decently well. So talk to you later.